In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved almost zero lag in my fast-paced multiplayer roguelike. We're going to talk about three different techniques, finishing with the solution that nearly eliminates lag even when playing with someone a continent away. The first method we'll look at is Entity Interpolation, the simplest of the three methods. Imagine two players. Player A is controlling their character. The idea of Entity Interpolation is to send messages about the current state of the player and then interpolate between those. So in this case, player A sends their player position to player B, and player B interpolates between the positions when it receives them. The issue with entity interpolation is that the world is not synced between these two players. When dealing with fast-paced gameplay, having a world that is not synced might result in a player's actions not registering properly, sometimes known as hit registration issues. One solution to this is to have code like hit detection be handled client-side, also known as client-side hit registration. In our example, if player B shoots at player A by aiming here, even though player A knows that they weren't there when player B shot, player A still takes damage because player B detected that they hit player A on their client. The problem is now player A feels cheated because they were shot by someone who wasn't aiming at them. This solution is able to be applied to my game because my game is cooperative, players aren't fighting each other so it isn't that big of a deal when a player sees another player hit a slime even though they weren't aiming properly. However, we can do better. The third technique is called rollback netcode. In contrast to entity interpolation, we send inputs with a timestamp instead of player state. In our example, player A sends that they pressed move at timestamp 0. Then, when player B receives the message, they see that the message happened two timestamps ago. Player B rolls back their game to timestamp 0 and re-simulates forward using the new input of player A. We can see that except for when the character changes directions, the game is perfectly synced. There are two things we have to deal with when using this method though. We have to record a list of states like player position to use when we roll back. We also have to ensure our game is deterministic, especially physics, so that when we simulate forward, we end up with the same result as the other players. Let's take a look at rollback netcode in action. This right here is simulating the same network conditions that me and my friend from another continent experienced when testing. A tip for anyone who is working on a Godot game that needs deterministic physics is to check out the library called SGPhysics2D. That's the solution to how I eliminated lag in my game. Thank you all for watching and thank you to my subscribers. I'll see you in the next one.